so royalty here. I was watching some YouTube and people are doing like 2017 overviews and all the stuff they accomplished and all the stuff they've done in 2017. And I don't know. I, I don't like to compare myself to other people. I don't like to, like, oh, I want that. I wish I had that kind of stuff. I don't like to do that too much. But I find myself doing that when I was looking at these things. And then I'm, like, started getting upset. Um. Hey, guys. <laughs> I, heard you I heard your voice, Mommy. You did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're straight in your room. So, you know why I came in my room, right? So it wouldn't be too loud? So you wouldn't be in it at all. <laughs> so, say hi. Hi. Bye now. Go. Okay, I'm going to cover my ears. No, go. Go. And close the door behind you. Well, your bed is that way, so go that way. Yeah, oh, bye, guys. Oh, don't eat the cheese. 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 No me. <laughs> I was trying to catch myself in the moment and the feels, but she distracted me. So now I don't even feel that way no more. I guess I was feeling hurt is the word I would use because they're like doing so much and great things and some of the people are like I've only been doing this like six months and I'm the greatest person in the whole world and I make all this money and blah 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 and I'm just like I keep trying stuff and none of it is working and I'm just what I hear Sorry. 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 Spider. Bye. Yeah, then go in the living room. Yeah, that's what I would do. There's no spider in there. I just want to come. <laughs> go. I want to give you a hug real quick. I don't want to hug. Go. Why? Because <laughs> now you're being rude. I'm trying to give you a hug. Go. Anyway, so, like, I just want to be successful. I want to be doing what I want to do. And then I see all these people, and I'm like, how? Like, it don't make no sense. And I refuse to make myself something that I'm not. Like, I'm not going to be dramatic and over the top and wild and crazy which I can be sometimes in certain settings, but not on a regular basis. And I'm not going to exploit that to be successful. And then that's not even like success to me because I want to be successful in being genuinely me. How do you go from nothing to something? Like, what did you do? And they're like, I just decided to start. Like, no not how it works because I just decided to start a lot of stuff and none of it is blowing up the way y'all are blowing up so looking at it I guess I kind of feel like dang what's wrong with me what am I not doing why am I not good enough to be in this place but I know that a lot of choices that I've made 
in the path from depression and anxiety led me to this point, which is why in 2018, I'm like, I'm not about to deal with that stuff. Like, I'm going to feel down sometimes. I'm still going to have anxiety and panic attacks, but I'm not going to feed into it and let it stop me from doing what I know to do. How do I use what I have and the limitations that I have to get to this point? Because I have no idea. And when I success, I don't mean just, like, I've been working on relational success. I've been working on spiritual success. I've been working on me success, personal success with my personality and my character and my morals. Like, I've had a long time to deal with that. I have a good success rate in those things. Now, the one place that I've always failed, not always failed, because I've done some great things. I've had some great opportunities that I could have, like, done. Like, if I did not have depression and anxiety, or if I had known that that's what it was and dealt with it then, then... I could have been a whole lot more successful than I am. But I let that get in my way and I let that destroy a lot of opportunities. I was actually winning a modeling contest that they had here at the mall. And it was like hundreds of people that were there. and Or maybe like, I'm going to say hundreds. Hundreds of people that were there. And I think they chose 50 people to come back and they chose me to come back. So I came back, I did everything, and then they chose 15 people to go to the next level. So I made it to the next level. And then I got terrified and I stopped. <laughs> I was like, I'm not about to do this. But I got into it because I was like, I know I could win, I could win, I want to do this. I got this, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they called me back and I was like, oh, I could win. I go to the next level, I got this far, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to that next level and then I was like, oh, heck no, nah. I'm not about to, I'm not about to go. <laughs> so things like that that have destroyed my chances of success. I'm looking at them going, why not me? But I know why not me. And I'm, the, the feelings that I'm projecting onto them is actually what I feel onto myself, that, that I feel for myself. So when I look at them and I'm jealous or I feel sad or upset, I'm not upset with them. I'm not jealous of them. It's more how I feel about me. Not that I'm jealous of me, but I'm upset at the decisions that I've made and the choices that I've let get in the way of not getting to that point or not allowing myself to get to that point because it was my choice to stop certain things or not to do certain things that I know would help aid in the success that I'm looking for. I guess I just need to talk that out with you guys. <laughs> Usually I don't feel that way. Usually I'm like happy for people who live out their dreams and have success and what they want to do and what they're looking to do and what they've always wanted to do. Like I love looking at that kind of stuff. But I looked at it this time and I was like, <laughs> no, it's my turn. When is it my turn? But I had to recognize that I've made these decisions to get me to this point. And from this point on, I have to make new decisions that will help me get to a point that I'm trying to get to. I'm not putting this on YouTube. Bye.